Hey everyone! Today we're diving into one of the most intense rivalries in the history of science, Robert Hooke versus Isaac Newton. This conflict not only shaped their lives but also had a lasting impact on the scientific community. Let's get into the story. Robert Hooke was a brilliant scientist and inventor, born in 1635. Isaac Newton, on the other hand, was a rising star from Cambridge. Their paths crossed dramatically in 1672 at a meeting of the Royal Society of London. During this meeting, Hooke reviewed a paper by Newton on the nature of light. Newton claimed that white light was made up of all the colors of the spectrum. While Hooke praised Newton's experiments, he doubted Newton's conclusions, comparing them to saying all sounds are present in a single organ pipe or string. This criticism didn't sit well with Newton. He took Hooke's doubts personally, seeing them as an attack on his reputation. From that moment, Newton saw Hooke as an enemy. Despite their conflict, Hooke continued to contribute immensely to science. He discovered the law of elasticity, known as Hooke's Law, and invented numerous scientific instruments. He created the first vacuum pump, designed the barometer, thermometer, and even the hygrometer. In 1665, Hooke published Micrographia, a groundbreaking book filled with detailed drawings he made using a microscope he built himself. This book was a huge success and showcased Hooke's incredible skills and curiosity. In 1703, Hooke passed away, and later that year, Newton became the president of the Royal Society. Newton used his power to erase Hooke's contributions. He even had Hooke's portrait and many of his instruments mysteriously disappear during the society's move to a new building. Newton's campaign against Hooke was so effective that for two centuries, Hooke's name was largely forgotten. Many of his discoveries were credited to others and his achievements were overshadowed by Newton's fame. Today, historians and scientists are rediscovering Hooke's legacy. Despite Newton's efforts, Hooke's work has endured and we now recognize him as a pivotal figure in the history of science. He is sometimes even called the English Leonardo da Vinci due to his incredible versatility and ingenuity. Hooke's work extended beyond just physics. He made significant contributions to meteorology, paleontology, and even architecture. After the Great Fire of London in 1666, Hooke helped rebuild the city, designing many important buildings. Hooke was also known for his distinctive appearance and personality. He was described as a small, hunched man with large, gray eyes. Despite suffering from illness and the effects of smallpox, he was incredibly hardworking and dedicated to his research. Hooke's personal life was complex. He never married, but had several relationships with housekeepers. His most significant relationship was with his cousin, Grace who became his lover until her untimely death in 1687. This loss deeply affected Hooke. He spent the last years of his life blind and sick. The rivalry between Hooke and Newton is a powerful reminder of how personal conflicts can shape scientific history. While Newton's contributions are undeniable, Hooke's story teaches us the importance of giving credit where it's due. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing stories from the world of science. Thanks for watching. See you next time.